my goal is to get people out of thinking there's the even one percent difference man now that we know that 1.3 is max allowable from amd maybe some people don't feel safe running 1.3 i don't know because as gn says it sometimes the load line calibration will fuck it up by like 0 0.08 oops 0 0.08 so if you set 1.3 it might reverse v group up to 1.38 right so maybe some people want to set 1.2 1.25 but let's find out where my silicon sweet spot is just for just for i thought it was an interesting fucking video idea right so we'll start with like we'll start with 1.2 because i feel like no matter what that's gonna be fine yeah so we're at 1.2 soc and we are at 5800 xmp we'll do 60 seconds between runs like basically it's which is not a good stress test but it's good enough to just see if it's like horridly unstable right yeah this does not seem like it's that serious man so it begs the question why did the uh why did hardware vendors shove 1.4 volts into it when 6,000 booted on one point let's try upping this a bit yeah soc 1.2 volts that's crazy man 6200 posted maybe this entire video and test was a totally waste of time there's no way this could be stable though 1.2 soc my weekend is going awesome quay my man we raised 1700 dollars for the mods because delta is a fucking goat dude delta band airship tap uh uh hardcore all these guys man yeah uh, yeah the, the the crazy thing is i i needed 1.41 1 to hit 6400 but but 1.2 works with 6200 dude i haven't eaten mongolian barbecue in a good while man because yeah i just fucking shit out of my ass for like six hours after it's not worth the trade-off it's like do i take a shit for six hours by eating this one meal it's probably not worth it i need to like eat a muffin with it or something to like soak it up a bit hang on i'm gonna try 6400 if this dude if this works then i then i have no fucking clue what's going on here then then maybe that that makes no sense there we go it didn't post it didn't post it's stuck on a red light it's stuck on uh it's stuck on error code 14 and it just re so wow yeah so 1.2 volts worked all the way up to 6200 and i need 1.41 for 64 that's not worth it at all well yeah so i'm just gonna do i'm, I'm gonna do all future videos with 6200 then that's fucking ridiculous we could try bclk to 6300 maybe we'll try uh 1.25 soc on this one try that and if that works i would uh, that's what i'll run for the benchmarks if it works but i mean it, maybe it'll work at like 1.3 you know what just doing doing this testing is really eye-opening man that's so now yeah so you see how we're at 6300 here i'm using like 101.7 bclk to get there because there's no 6300 multiplier for the chip right in the bios and then we're using soc voltage of 1.2 oh it erred yeah okay that's i'm glad it erred i'm glad so so 1.2 soc equals 6200 megahertz and then now we're at i'm glad it erred so now we're at 6300 megahertz and 1.25 soc didn't work so how you know how we always talk about listen listen to your silicon 
all silicon does this right so at 63 so 6200 is right here at the top dead on and now 6300 is already over here 1.2 volt 1.25 volt 63 we're, we're already past the efficiency curve of it you know what i'm saying so let's try 1.3 soc so now so yeah that, that 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 goes to show you right there how how um unnecessary it is soc bench are you really gonna shove an extra 0.1 fucking soc volts for 100 megahertz what's the point of two percent performance it's not two percent though it's zero that's i i my goal my goal is to get people out of thinking there's the even one percent difference man there's it's not there's not even one percent not even one percent dude yeah you have to get it out of your system it we're we're so far past the one percent uh the architecture of the cpu itself is the majority of the work now right if i just get that last 100 megahertz just i'm surprised at how low of a voltage you need seriously 1.2 the only reason i could think that they shoved 1.4 was to try and make the 6400 kits work so now we're at the same as before 6300 with the bclk and then we're using 1.3 soc there you go 1.3 soc and then it's it, and then uh i i punched in 1.3 but it could have been like 1.28 or 1.27 right so you have to keep that into perspective as well with this next number for 6400 i already know how much i need i need 1.41 soc and if i do 1.4 it'll crash right so it's right on the edge there i've i've tested that over a, an entire week right so i don't have to do that part so this from so the jump from this one to this one could have been like 0 0.07 or oh, sorry 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 already not worth it and then the jump from this one to this one could be like what is uh what's like 1.41 minus 1.28 yeah 1.3 so this is like plus i'm just gonna assume it's like 1.28 just for just for the argument's sake plus 0 0.08 plus one what was it shit 0 0.13 yeah so you see how we're we're dipping way too far in that fucking graph dude way too far so going forward then i'm gonna use this one for the benchmarks i'm gonna use this one uh yeah i can just put a little bit of bclk on it 6300 and then do like 21 21 12 fabric or something like that 6300 divided by three 2100 fabric there you go so 2100 fabric 6300 speed is exactly what i'm gonna run for for my benchmarks going forward here fclk yeah that seems to be the way to go i can run this one but the 100 megahertz is not worth the bulge the am bulge this equals am bulge according to gn and according to amd and whatnot right so who knows who knows uh, even at the end of the day and even when i do my consults and shit i'll do it around there around the 1.3 1.28 ish right let's call it there i'll see you on tuesday um the the video i'm working on right now is the uh the one thousand dollar jedi survivor build with the h100 nzxt the 12 700 kf i'm doing that video next